Hello friends, welcome to Math Monday. Today we are going to do flower petal counting. So the first thing that you need is a blank piece of paper. Parents, please draw the stem and a circle on top of the stem. That's going to be the base part of the flower and draw a number between one and 10 each. It's better if it's more than two at least because it's going to be a flower petal. And the other ingredient, other um, material that you will need is marbles. More like flat glass gems. You can buy this for, for a dollar in Dollar Tree. So what we're going to do is our friends are going to put the same number of marble marbles as the as the number on each flower. So this one says five. So we're going to put five marbles. One, two, three, four, and five. So if we put five marbles around here and align it like petals, it'll look like it'll look as if this flower has five petals. Now let's try number three. I'm going to choose orange marbles. So one, two, and three. Just make sure you put it around like a petal. Like this. So that looks like that looks as if the flower has three orange petals. Um, I'm trying to show you guys this vertically, which is near impossible. But normally what you can do, normally you will put, that, put this down on the floor and it will work much better. Well, I hope you have fun with this activity. You can do it with any number of flowers. And for um, parents with more advanced kids, you can try numbers around between 11 to 20. And if they got that number, sorry, you can do more than 20. If you're if you have flower more than 10, you might if you have a flower with petals of more than 20, you can use the whole page for one one flower. Okay? Have fun. Bye friends.